Bro, shit. It's a little Sunday afternoon stream from your boy. Oh, baby. Let me tell you something. For life, I got some exciting shit in store for you. Not going to want to miss it. Art cards, brother. Cards. Cards. On top of cards. Uh, I got a couple sets. I got like seven different card sets. Um, of various, you know, these ain't just your run of the mill. Marvel Series 1, Marvel Masterpiece. I went a little outside my normal purview with these cards, man. I'm glad I did. They're pretty dope. So this will be exciting. I want to share this with you. Shout out to A. A. Ron in the house. First man in the building, dude. Respect that for the show. NWO represent strapped up. Strapped and Jack. Better rate Jim. Good to see you, man. A new visitor recently, like visitor of my channel. So I'm always happy to see new homies in the mix, man. Especially with someone with a dope ass name like Better Rate Jim. You know? Ben Compton. Try and true, red, white, and blue. Red Ben Compton. Good to see you guys. Alright, man. Check it. Check it. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we have going on. We got We got the card cam, son. We got the card cam, son. What? Um since cards are kind of small and these are, you know, showcasing art. I don't want to like hold up these little cards. I want to so I'm going to be sliding these cards in as we go through these two sets. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll do more of it because I have, like I said, five other sets. But these are two of my favorites, the Frank Frazetta and uh, Sorayama. What's this? Hajime Sorayama sets. So this is going to be fun. We're going to, we're going to be looking at some fine art this lovely Sunday afternoon. You know what I mean? Shout out to the comic Dawn. Good to see you, big homie. As well as Will the Beast himself. We're gonna start. Let's start with the Frazetta set, man. So that's the first card. That one was called the Ghoul Queen. They have little fun facts on the back, like this one. So on the back, I'm showing them out of I got them out of number order, but what are you gonna do? Oh yeah, I should say this is NWO adult programming. Viewer discretion is advised. There's going to be numerous examples of titties and culos and all that shit. So if you, you know what I'm saying, blush at the sight of tatas and culos, you may want to avert your eyes. This might may not be the stream for you. But if you're like me and Jim, and you love them titties, then you've come to the right place. <laughs> all right, yo, here's the deal. So on the back, I'm not going to show you the backs of all of them, but at least you can see what the deal is. Um, they're numbered, and they have little fun facts on it. Like this one says, when Frazetta covers began selling books, Frank became more selective about the material offered. He retained ownership of all original art and permitted only first printing rights. So I'll let you know when I find like a cool fun fact. But look at that. That's a dope one. Uh, <laughs> yo, what up, Z Collects? I'm not sure if there's green. They, dude, you know what? I think there might be. Especially on the Soriyama kit. You guys are going to love Soriyama because I feel like he's not, he's a little more unknown than. Mr. Frank Frazetta, and you're going to get a real kick out of Soriyama. We got this. Oh, too bad Mastodon isn't in the chat because we got a straight up Mastodon card. 
Very nice. This one's a landscape card. When the Conan series was published, it became one of the greatest selling books in histories. Many, <laughs> look what it says. Look at the last sentence. Many people bought the books for just their covers. Oh, what a novel idea. <laughs> Boom, that's, that's pretty dope. A little space, saber tooth action. What a crazy landscape that is. Ooh, this is a dope one. This is the one that I use for the thumbnail for Frazetta. Oh. That's a great fucking piece, man. Look at that. Peace out, Aaron. Thanks for checking in, dude. Great Frazetta piece. A little Conan action. Here we have some Savage Land Madness. Saber tooth, pterodactyls, a damsel. Let's see, this is a lot. This is like a hundred cards, so I'm not gonna show. I think I might be selective in the ones that I that I share. Look at that. Nice little black knight. Um, it's kind of like the and you know the classic, uh, the Death Dealer. Probably Frazetta's most famous painting, I think. The Death Dealer. The one with that black knight dude sitting on the horse. You know that one's on here. Boom. I mean, what a cool card set, right? I had no idea. I was like, to be honest, I was looking for like maybe some Marvel Masterpiece year cards, which I have multiple sets of Marvel Masterpiece. Um, and I was like, maybe there's... Because I know they continued them for a while into the, you know, 2000s and shit even. So I was like, let me see if there's like a a Marvel Masterpiece card set that I missed out on. And that's when I stumbled across this eBay seller who just specialized in non-sports cards. And I was like, damn, dude, a Frazetta set? That one's awesome. Ooh, look at this one. A little like Merlin and a ghoul. Let's check on a fun fact. This next card I'm going to show you is called Black Panther. Proving to the editor of Ace Books that he could handle the Tarzan series, Frazetta went home and painted this Black Panther as a sample. Oh, that's dope. So this card I'm about to show you is what he sent as like a portfolio piece to prove to the editor of Tarzan that he could handle the material. And I can see why, dude. Look at that. Nice. That is perfect. That is on point. Tarzan. Mm. Yeah, these probably would look cool in a frame. I never really thought about like the, the idea of framing cards until I saw, um, what do you call it? Gem Mint, when he framed the whole Marvel Masterpiece card set. I was like, that's pretty dope. This would be a good set to do that. Imagine having the whole set of these Frazetta cards in one frame. That'd be nice, that's a good idea. Lasso, 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 I did, I did. Had to do it, man. My old core in the army, hey Magnusings, good to see you, man. Uh, my old core in the army commissioned a statue of Death Dealer that was placed in front of the headquarters building. Holy smoke, dude, that must have been amazing. A statue, damn. What a badass fucking military outfit you had. Yo, Jeffy Schultz. What's up, brother? I'm glad the homies, glad we got some homies hanging out, man. You know, it's just a lazy Sunday afternoon, long weekend. Why not check out some, some fine art with your boy 84? Look at this. Usually it's a lot of sword and sorcery, you know what I mean? But this one is more military, which I don't think, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think there's like a ton of military Frazetta pieces. This next one is so fire. I'm pretty sure it's a classic. Uh, these are these are trading card size. Oh, did you see Death Dealer? There's Death Dealer right there. 
Yeah, so these are trading card size. I got seven different card sets. I got a I got a Frazetta set, a Soriyama set. I got I think uh, two Julie Bell Boris and Julie Bell sets that are fire. I got a Jack Kirby set. I got an old school pro wrestling WCW set. Yo, I'm back. If you're here, we're in this together. Internet acted up. My internet's been acting up, but we're in. Chat, let me know if you're still with me, son. Let it brother know. Hold on. Muted. Bang. Right. Okay. I'm just gonna proceed as if nothing happened. Hoping that we still got, you know what I'm saying? Some homies. We'll just see how it goes. <clears throat> this uh, next one, I don't know if I should restart this whole stream or not. Oh, nice. Yes, yes, we're in, we're still here, we're in. Oh, this car fell. Yeah, no, it's not you. It's not you, it's me. Okay. I got a fire card to show you. This one, this is one of the dopest uh, Frazetta pieces, A Fighting Man of Mars, it's called. Look at this. I feel like that was used as a famous cover on something. Shout out to Stay Puff in the building, Funk 814, Magic Lasso. My friend from Brazil has been buying trading cards and sending them to me to hold until he gets here in the US. Whoa, that sounds like some espionage. That's like almost international man of mystery, you know, activities, dude. 
I like it. So, great Fighting Man from Mars card. God dang it. It's a good, it's, this is a new setup for me, but we're good. Let's, uh, let's go to this one. Oh, peep this. I know this card. This card is, um, the cover art from Epic Magazine, number Epic Illustrator number one. Seven Romans. Uh, at the age of 19, while working on Johnny Comet, Frank was offered a contract from the New York Giants baseball team, but turned it down is the fun fact on that card. Does that mean to play or to like do promotional art for them? I don't know. Yo, Gorilla Todd. Thanks, man. Good to see you. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm just getting into this world. I've always just been aware of like Marvel Masterpiece, you know what I'm saying, cards. And I just got, you know, I was saying earlier, seven sets of cards. Today I'm going to show the Frazetta and the Soriyama, but I got some other stuff too. Julie Bell set. Julian Boris has a killer set. Oh, look at this one. This one is called Sound. Frank's children's names are Frank Jr., Bill, Holly, and Heidi. So Frank had four cards. Don't. Look at that ill, Ill trumpet beam. Oh, look at that. To play for them. So Frazetta was an official ball player, apparently. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, this one's nice. Withering. Oh, here we go. Frazetta's Death Dealer, we mentioned before, famous piece, was selected for an army unit's shoulder patch, and Frank received a citation from the military. Is that a good citation or a bad citation? Boom. Here we go. A little bootay. A little bootay on that one. Ooh, look at this. This one was done originally as... Uh, a cover of Creepy in 1966. Look at that. That's dope. Boom. Hero and the Kid. Are you out in these streets trying to go to a store? Well, damn. Ooh, look at this one. What's this called? Savage... Wow, how do you even say that word? Savage Pellucidar. Some of Frazetta's all-time favorite films are Night of the Hunter, the original King Kong, Fantasia, and Wuthering Heights. And look at this fucking card. Boom. That's awesome. Oh, Frizella, Frizetta Barbarian action. Let's just keep a little brisk pace throughout here. Ooh, this one's dope. This one almost looks like the the Spectre. This reminds me of the the Spectre from DC Comics. <laughs> yep, that's what I said last. So, and if you want more booty. There's more booty where that came from with this next card. You gotta love Frazetta and those dem hips, though. Them, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no stick figures. Wow, look at all that. I've been doing a lot of drawing. I finished two, if I could say so myself, like two of my better pieces. I've been drawing a lot lately, um, and I got the, I did a contest um, for the, the contest where the, the prize was the Infinity Gauntlet cover sketch with someone wearing the freaking Infinity Gauntlet, and it's going to Kavi. I'm not going to, I even am surprising him on who's wearing the gauntlet, and it came out pretty fire. I'm excited for him to get it. I'm going to have to ship that out. Yo, is that YouTube is 90? YouTube is 90. 
Sorry, I got distracted by them hips, though. Let's see. Like I said, I don't want to show everyone. Oh, I got to show this one. This one's called Serpent. Peep this. Let me take these off. Bro, these car sets are pretty cool. This one right here. Peep it. Look at that. Look at that snake, dude. Got that mofo all wrapped up. Let's see. Oh, look at this shit. What's this called? The Flying Alligator. From start to finish, Frazetta likes to do a painting in less than two days, it says. Look at this magical little alligator. Oh, this shit reminds me of Game of Thrones, White Walkers. Peep this. Oh, shit. I think I know this from a cover of... Mm, I don't know. Vampirella? This is fire. Bam. Look at that, dude. Beauty. A badass savage dame with two saber tooth tigers. Damn. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, an ally dragon. A dragonator. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what to call this. If this is, you tell me what you think. Is this a a dude or a woman in the foreground? Is that a muscular female? Or is that a man, baby? It's a man, baby. Oh, shit. I remember I love this one. This one's called Madame Derringer. Peep this fucking thing. Look at this card. Oh, shit. I just like that it's a... Uh, I love how it's like a different style, a different era from what you're used to seeing from him. Usually you're seeing sword and sorcery stuff from him. And this almost has like a Victorian age with a taste of sci-fi. This is really fucking cool. I'd like to see more of this. Um, yo, house till the end. Good seeing you, man. Oh, you have the same card set. That's awesome. A couple people have popped in and said, hey, I have this card set. I just learned that they existed when I bought them the other day. Oh, my man. Boatwright Family Comics. Dude, I heard that we have a hashtag free boat situation on our hands man it sounds like you your channel has suffered a similar fate as i did last year with the 90 day suspension for copyright materials can you confirm this information did i hear this right are you on three month timeout brother let me know He's a little I have the power type card. Let me get some of these out. <laughs> yep, there's the confirmation. Yes, sir, band just like you. Well, welcome to the club, dude. That's because me and Boat, right? We're a couple one-two outlaws, brother. We live in that outlaw life. And when you live the outlaw life, sometimes the man tries to lock you up. But I'm living proof, brother, that they can try and keep you. They can try and put you down, but they can't keep you down. Uh-huh. And also, let me extend a welcome for you to join me on my channel with the boys, 
with the girl with with the kids in general with the kids and if you ever have some stuff you want to share or whatever comic at 84's YouTube channel is a channel of the people and you are welcome to share anything you like on this motherfucking platform if you feel the need all right Let's read a fun fact. In 1976, Frazetta received the World Fantasy Award for Best Artist. His little bear. Ooh, this one. I actually used the art from this card on a thumbnail that I made for Bake the Snake a while back. When I opened my bake box, I remember using this. Yo, JB. I saw that set. I saw the Bernie Wrightson set, but I was already seven card sets deep, and I'm like, damn, am I going to really get 10 sets of cards? I wanted to keep my purchase under 100 bucks, and I did. Here we go. We're going to showcase the big boy, the Death Dealer. Let's read the info on the back. When the Death Dealer painting graced the cover of the American Artist Magazine in 1976, it became the only sold out issue in the magazine's history. American Artist states, it is rare that an illustrator creates work and a publisher searches for a text to fit it. Frank Frazetta has reached that point. Ladies and gentlemen, the Death Dealer. Boom. Love that piece of artwork, man. And what a cool, and Mag Musings, I got your message about, um, that you sent me an IG of the statue. But the way I'm doing this like card cam thing is I'm, that's my phone. It's right to the left of me here. Um, it, uh, oh shit, Kachun got my package. Nice. Lasso, that probably means you're gonna get yours today too. I sent them out on the same day. So heads up for that last. So keep an eye on your post box, dude. But yeah, my phone's tied up right now, so apologies. I don't want to mess up my groove that I have here. Look at this. Guy getting thrown off his horse. Oh, this is one of my favorites. I almost used this for the thumbnail piece for Frazetta. <laughs>
You can't keep me down, dude. I got reconnected, man. I got reconnected. <laughs> I know. It's just my internet's been acting up all weekend, man. I don't know what's happening. But we're back. And shout out to you, Kachung. I saw you joined. Good to see you, man. And I think I saw a little message pop up on my Instagram. I'm using my phone right now so I for this card cam, so I can't really look at it. But it looked like it said the package arrived. Which is exciting. Yes, testicle difficulties. I often have testicle difficulties. This is an interesting piece. A little, it doesn't even like look like that. It doesn't really think make me think Frazetta. This topless babe. And let me give another disclaimer. This card set, especially the next card set, is you know what I'm saying. Mature audiences. There will be tatas and culos very prominently displayed in these sets. So if that makes you blush, you know what I'm saying? You better be wary. And yo, Kachum, can you confirm that you, uh, because like I said, I can't really check my Instagram because that's what my card cam's on. Ooh, look at this card. Let's read a fun fact from it. The Egyptian queen from nine... Oh, that's a stupid fun fact. Look at this card. Bam. I like that. It makes me think of, like, Cleopatra. Cleopatra with the tatas out, brother. Oh, this is one that I know. Famous funnies number 209 to 217 are among the most famous and widely reproduced pieces of comic art. While Frazetta worked on Famous Funnies, real notoriety came when he did the Buck Rogers cover. These are the same covers George Lucas claimed were inspiration for the Star Wars saga. And this, I think, is a cover of Creepy? Because I've seen that around. Yeah, that's a good point. Th these are not like nudes. This is art, brother, th through and through. Yes, it's a topless babe, but it's tasteful. And there's usually like a, a saber tooth tiger nearby or a creature. So, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you did. Excellent. Excellent. Keep me posted. On when you open that puppy, you know what I'm saying? Let a brother know. Let a brother know. One, two, comic talk. Hello. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll post a link to the Insta. Let me just finish this set. I only have this many left in the set, so it's going to be... Pretty quick. Oh shit, look at my man JB. Killing the game. Oh, here's one of my favorites, bro. Look at the, just look at this fucking card. Look at this underwater scene. I like the dude in the lower left corner there with the scuba apparatus and the whole thing. Pretty serious, pretty dope. I love that card. Thank you, JB. And JB, I know I sent you the that intro, and I have it loaded up here. I could hit one button and play the intro, but I don't want to steal Big Thunder on it. But let's just say there's gonna be a cool intro, my boy. My boy Biggie Shack is gonna be his channel is gonna be looking nice this week. 
Here's a great card. Great piece. The snake. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, I think uh, there's definitely card grading. I'm almost curious to see how strict they are because they're in good shape. I mean, I don't. There's definitely. I mean, I guess if I was really trying to scrutinize these cards, I could find. I could find some flaws with it. I feel like I've seen this card on a magazine too, or a comic. Oh, look at this one. Look at this. So the name of this card is Swamp Demon. Frank, and here's the fun fact. That's what the back of these cards look like, by the way. For Zed. Frank convinced John Gunter to allow him to draw and publish a childhood idea he created at the age of eight named Snowman. Uh, this character was the first to be copyrighted by Frazetta and was published in Tally Ho Comics in December 1944. Frazetta's an OG. Look at this. That's a cool piece, dude. That's a cool piece. Oh shit. This card is called Dracula Meets Wolfman. What? Look at this. Dracula versus the Wolfman. Hey. Oh shit. Big Disco's only 12 away from 1500 subs, dude. Shit, you know Z's going to shout you out. Nice, brother. And if I could be of any assistance, if there's anyone in this chat right now that's not sub to my man, Disco, get your life together. This card is fantastic. It's called Golden Girl. At the age of 11, Frank painted his first female nude using a live model. Look at this. At age 11, Frank painted his first female nude using a live model. That is an insane sentence. I love it. Look at this. Look at that card, landscape style. Damn. That's a cool card. <laughs> Jeff. I like your idea of getting those frames like Diamond Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Diamond Jim. <laughs> That's only Biggie. Only Biggie. <laughs> oh, look at this. King Kong and the Snake. Shout out to Diamond Jim for his framed card set. Okay, we're getting to the end here. I'm just making a point to show you the real spicy ones. Look at this one. Boy, them chicks are a handful, am I right? Mm. Damn, look at this. Nice little space situation. This one I feel like is a cover of some kind of mag that looks familiar to me. And you know what, this is a good card to end on. This card here is a self-portrait of Frank Frazetta. We'll end on that. There's Frazetta. Now buckle up, y'all. It's Soriyama time. Soriyama time. Let me put the first one out. So, Soriyama. <laughs> oh, shit. 
Yo, Simeon. Oh, man. That's right. Mark st started streaming at 1.30. I am slacking. I got to catch that on the rewind for sure. I saw that he's taking no calls this today, which is probably a good idea. And we're talking about Mark Rebele. I almost want to put his link in here. People need to know about Mark Rebele. Um, all right, we went through Frizzez's set. Soriyama, you're going to see is Babes and Robot Babes. I think Robot Babes is what he became very famous for. I get a very uh, daft punk vibe. I mean, I, I think he predates... Daft Punk, but it's still, it's like that aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? We got a landscape card. We got a landscape card. Boom. Here we have a real life babe. Yeah, I don't really like that one too much. Whoops. Just extract with a machine gun. This is what the back of these cards look like. This one's called Sexy Cinderella. Like I said, Mature audiences only. L, the L's are silent in his name. Whose name? Oh, oh, Mark Rebier. Rebier. I ain't French, dude. You know what I'm saying? When the French win a war, I'll let them tell me how to say words, brother. Until then, I'll do what I want with those L's. Uh, <laughs> next. That one, that one's super cool. Oh, this one's badass. This one's called Hear No Evil. Boom. Whoops. I almost fumbled the cards. Oh, this one's nice. This next card is the one that I used for the thumbnail. Boom. One of my favorite pieces. <laughs> these I don't, I'm probably going to skip a lot of these, but I'm only just going to show you them and tell you, I don't know, let you know why I don't like them. He has a little set of, he does some of these where it's like robot bodies, but he does like the flesh colored face. And I don't like it. I think, uh, I think these are a miss. Every single one of them. There's not that many, but there's a few and I, they're just a miss for me. I don't like the look of the human face on the robot. No bueno. Oh, this one's naughty, yo. What, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not safe for work here today. So, here you go. <laughs> you know, she a bad girl, brother. She's just on, on them all fours, man. That's how she... That's how she's doing it. All right, back to the robot babes. Boom, that one's cool. This one's cool. This one's called Oh Baby. Haha, <laughs> they do look like silver hawks. What up, Norn? That's a cool one. Yo, 
Yo, what up, Hack? I don't know if I saw if I saw you there earlier. What up, Hack? Steven Spock in the house. This one's called Splash. Isn't that the name of the Tom Hanks movie with the mermaid? Splash. Whoa. All right, get ready. Buckle up, folks. Buckle up, folks. This one's pretty cool. Look at that. Bam. She's in the a bit of the fetal position, I guess you'd say. Bro, that's the position that I was in. It was like a month or two ago. I got hit with a kidney stone. This is the third time I've gotten kidney stones in my life. It's been years since I got them, but I got one like two months ago, a kidney stone. Bro, that's like the position that I was in, bro. When the kidney stone was in full effect, all you can do is just curl to a ball and say, give me don't give me painkillers now. It's horrendous. Boom, we got this babe here. Eugene Levy. That name sounds familiar. Eugene Levy. Who's that? Um, oh, this one's cool. We got another landscape card in the mix. A little like leg warmers on that one. Oh, yeah. These, dude, I wouldn't mind finding these like large prints of these in. This is something that I would consider framing. Like, I might frame that and put it in my house. Peace out, Disco. Oh, damn, Simeon. You had a, a stone, too? Yeah, they're just <clears throat> bad news, man. Yeah, those are bad news. Boom. Oh, this one's spicy. This one's called Cooling Off. Let's check out Cooling Off, shall we? Boom. <clears throat> My girl's cooling off. Oh, shit. Look at this one. I'm not even going to check to see what the name of this one is, but I'm going to name it Bicycle Booty. Here's Bicycle Booty. <laughs> Two wheels, two cheeks, bicycle booty. Uh oh, fresh out the shower. Fresh out the shower. Oh, Cleopatra. This one's cool. You know what? Yo, the, the lighting. And like the shading on this is pretty fucking dope, man. Look at this. It's so black, it's like showing my window. Look at that. <clears throat> yeah, I heard passing a stone is equivalent to giving birth. Yeah. Yo. I would. I can't speak to the giving birth side, but I can be, speak to the kidney stone side, and it's definitely the most excruciating pain. If I could only imagine, I can't even fathom. Not because the only, I mean, unless you just tough it out, I'm not sure how Simeon dealt with it, but every time I've had it, I go to the hospital. I mean, they don't do much other than give you some freaking dope, you know, they, I don't, I don't know if they've given me a, what's it called, Damerol, or, I don't know what the name of the shit is, but, some kind of, I imagine, opiate drug situation, um, so, yeah, 
they hit me up. It's like the pain just completely goes away. It's like, oh, thank God. And then when they did, um, and then upon departure, she's like, okay, well, I can write you some prescriptions. And she was trying to give your boy a prescription for Percocets. And I, I did the right thing, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I can't take those things anymore. So I said, you know what, miss, doctor, why don't you just give me Tylenol? I don't want your fucking Percocets. How's that? I'll tough the bitch. I'll tough this shit out. I got it from here. It's just uh, on that initial, when it's first passing, because the main painful part is when it goes from, it gets produced in the kidney, and then there's like this little path that it travels from your kidney to your bladder, your piss reservoir, if you will. And it's when it's passing through there, it's a very small canal. And that's a little jagged fucking, they're so small, but it's like this little jagged thing. And that's what kills you is when it's passing through there. But once it gets to your piss tank, there's some discomfort, but it ain't that bad. And there's just, for me, there's just no way around it to get through. Oh, yours had passed? See, I don't know how, I feel like, I guess I never tested the waters to see how far it would go until it passed. But minutes feel like hours, dude, when that shit's happening. <laughs> you having sympathy pains? Thanks. Whoops. Whoa, look at this. Look at this dame. <laughs> yeah, nice, I mean. Yep, so you turned down the painkiller, good. Yeah, an hour earlier? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I did. They just they hit me with the with the morphine and I just ah I could fucking breathe. And it was so funny, like when I was in there and writhing in pain, I was like uh I don't know, I was just a mess. And it was funny when the, the doctor was dealing with me during that period. And then she came back after I was administered the morphine. And like, you know, I was like totally writhing in pains, like talking all crazy and like whatever. Then when she came back, I was just like normal, my chill self. She was like, wow. She was like, she told me, she goes, that's crazy. She's like, you... She's like, it's like you're a completely different person. I was like, yeah, that's probably right. I was, oh shit, look at this Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, babe. Oh, the first, the first male piece. <laughs> male piece. The first male piece uh, that, that we have in this set. Ooh, this one's cool. My phone has 10% battery, so as soon as the, the card cam dies, I probably should split. This intro riff is so dope. Oh. Don't copyright ban me, YouTube. Don't do it. Oh shit, Bicycle Booty Part 2. Yeah, you got Bicycle Booty 2. <laughs> I 
I thought they blast those now, Banshee style. <laughs> Banshee style. Ah! They, uh, they only blast them if they're not big enough to pass naturally. So if they won't fit through that little tube thing and get into your piss tank, they'll sonic, they'll banshee blast it and break it into fragments. Then you can pass them. But in my experience, they've all been uh, small enough to pass. But my brother's gotten them and they blasted his. Oh, look at this bay. What's this one called? Iron Woman. Look at Iron Woman, dude. Bow. That's one buff babe. You know what? I'm not mad at that look. I'm into it. If a buff babe wanted to, uh, you know, hang out with old 84, I'd say, yo, let's do this, baby. I'll let you bench press me before you, uh, before we <laughs> handle business. <laughs> you can bench press me as foreplay. <laughs> Yo, know, imagine that. Imagine you, someone walks in on me. Someone walks into my bedroom. And this buff babe is on her, laying on her back on my bed and just bench pressing 84, dude. And I'm just like, like this, get bench pressed <laughs> in the bedroom. And we're like, no, it's it's just foreplay. <laughs> oh shit! Yes, Z, that's there's your that's as close as we're gonna get to She-Hulk, I think, in this set. Oh, this one's dope. This is another one that I would consider. Oh, whoops, sorry. This is another set I would consider buying a print of and framing it for the pad. Look at that. How cool would that be to have framed? I may have to look into this. Because some of my walls are a little bare. Like, I feel like it, you know what I'm saying? I think it would cozy up my house a little bit if some of my walls had more stream on it. More, uh, more stuff on the walls. Boom. Got a little bay there. Oh, what's this one? Chiquita. Chiquita Banana Babe. Right there. I feel like my, uh, I feel like the chat is hitting me much later than you guys are typing it. So sorry if I have like a delayed reaction. Look at this guy. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. Peep this one. That's pretty legit with the paint dripping on the bottom. This one's classic. This one's called Blackout. Blackout's pretty legit. Rocket Booster, babe. We're almost done with this set, guys. Look at that, the origin of man. Little dominatrix. Oh, wow. Look at this. This one's nice. Look at that. That's classic pinup. That's classic pinup right there.
And then we end on this little Sheena the Jungle Queen. You know what's interesting about this one? She has the leopard print bikini top, right? But those are not bikini bottoms. She actually has cheetah uh, pubic region hair. So that's just a fun fact about that card. Boom. <laughs> well, that's those two sets. It's already been an hour. I mean, I don't want to. I got more different card sets that I'm not going to go through, but I'll give you a little preview. Um, what do you guys think? You think I should um, do this with some of the other sets? Like I have Julie Bell. This is from the Julie and Boris set. Boris and Julie. And, you know, as you can see, there's some fire. There's some fire in this set, man. And this one even includes, like, pen and ink or pencil pieces. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll see how this video does. If it's, I mean, to be honest, I don't even really give a fuck um, how many views videos get and shit. It seems like the handful of homies that hung out here were into it. So I'll probably just do it again. Um, but, you know, let me know. I got the, this will just be sneak preview. I have, um, the Julie Bell set. This is the. I'm just going to take this cam off. I'm not going to use that anymore. This is the Jack Kirby set. And it's mostly like. It seems like there was this series that he was working on. And it's a lot of promotional art from that. And then there's some just weird shit. Look, Cassette Man. Jack Kirby Cassette Man. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know what I'm saying? The Kirby set's not that bad. I was I was kind of, to be honest, I was kind of hoping it was going to be a little better, but I'm into it still. Uh, what else is there? Then there was... And then there's another Julie Bell set. What other sets did I have? Oh, this one was... Um, this was a set that I picked up called The Bronze Age. And I think it's just like different panels from The Bronze Age. And then it gives you what issue it came out of and like a trivia thing about, about it. These are pretty cool. So that's a little fun set. And then, last but not least, for, for all the NWOites out there, I got my WCW cards, y'all. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks, DK Delphia. Boom, I'm glad I could get you guys started on the right foot today. I hope you enjoy the torpedo that I sent your way. You know what I'm saying? Let me know when you open it. Don't feel obligated to do any kind of video grandiose thing. That's not why I sent it. It's not how I roll. Just uh, open it at your leisure. Check it out. Let me know uh, what you think of the contents. Because I appreciate you guys. Kachun and Delphia are chat all-stars. You know, we do get the rare treat when they pop up on shows here and there. But real chat all-stars and great Instagrams. So 
Yeah, and like I told Katoon, the only clue I was going to give you was, it's definitely something you don't have. Not me. So, all right, gang. I'm going to get out of here. I got some odds and ends to do. Until next time. Peace, peace. Let me end with a little NWO. Let me hit you with that NWO. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I don't think Biggie will be mad at me. I made Biggie an intro, and I'm just, this is going to be a little treat just for you guys. Biggie's new intro. And for the people that hang on, hang around in the chat, hang with your boy until the very last minute, keep it a secret. Don't tell people that I showed you this. This is just for us, okay? Here's the new Biggie Shack intro, dude. And we'll end on this. Big Biggie. <laughs> Oh shit. All right guys, peace.